Over the past few decades, deaths due to terrorism and armed revolutions amount to almost 24,000 per year. The Global Terrorism Index pegs the number of deaths in 2020 as 15,000. But despite everything, none of this terrorism or revolutionary outfits have achieved their goal or won in the past few decades. Why is that? Let's analyze in this week's video four key reasons as to why armed insurgencies are failing in the 21st century. It is no secret that countries like USA, Russia and India supported terror outfits throughout the globe. But all this changed in 2001. September 11, 2001 blurred the line between a terrorist and a revolutionary throughout the globe. International support and empathy for these outfits ended that day. Major outfits like LTTE, OSG and IRA all lost their backing. Gone are the Rambo days where movies were made to showcase a country's support to an organization's struggle. Now even countries like Iran and Pakistan, who still use the organizations like this as proxies, are ashamed to admit them in the open. Rather than seeing these people as martyrs for a cause, the world today sees them as fanatics. There is a saying that Northeast Indian insurgency back in the 60s will make the Kashmiri counterpart look like a child's game. Entire battalions would disappear in a night when things were at a peak in the eastern corner of India. This was mainly due to the difference in arms. Indian Army was fighting them with World War I weapons, while the insurgents were using AK-47s and other SMGs. Things have changed around the globe now. The level of sophistication and access to latest weaponry for countries around the world after globalization is unparalleled. No matter what way you put it, blind valor and an AK-47 can do nothing against a single armed drone. And today, no outfits can match governments when it comes to intelligence, weaponry and operation capacity. There was a time when giving your life for a cause, killing your enemy in the process was considered valorous. But today, the public perception for this act has changed. The value of human life often triumphs causes and irrespective of the reasons given, Taking a life today is widely considered barbaric and unacceptable. This lack of empathy for violent methods of protest have shifted public favour away from the terror outfits to mainstream political lobbies, trying to achieve the same goal but with less bloodshed. A century ago, if you would have told someone that peaceful protest can win you political or economic rights, they would have laughed. But today, after seeing leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks and the things they have achieved, a new generation of people have learned the power of political protest and lobbying. Democracy, a people-friendly constitution and protest yield more positive results than guns and roses. An apt example for this is the Indian farm law protest where the whole world came in support of the farmers in India to overturn the law. So what do you think? Will armed insurgencies work today? Comment your thoughts on this. Thank you for watching. Like the video and subscribe to Cape Now.